So now that we're in the cab, we can go ahead and start getting familiar with the machine controls and also go over the features and benefits that are designed to improve operator comfort. First things first though, we always want to make sure that we buckle our seat belt. Okay, now that we're buckled in, we can go ahead and crank the machine and get started. So the seat and console has a variety of adjustments that's going to allow the operator to customize his comfort level pretty well. You can tilt the seat, adjust the air ride suspension, move the seat and console forward or backward. You can also adjust just the seat cushion forward or backward independently of the consoles. The armrests adjust for both height and incline. And if you need it and it's cold outside, you can activate the heated seat feature located just over the left shoulder. Also over your left shoulder, got two 12 volt converters, auxiliary jack, and also your AM FM stereo on the left hand console. Okay, so now that we've gotten ourselves comfortable, we can go ahead and move over to the right hand console and start talking about the machine controls. The first switch is for the smooth boom toggle control. This function will allow you to limit the down pressure in your boom. To activate this function, simply press the switch towards the icon with the small arrow. To return the machine back to normal function, press the switch towards the icon with the large arrow. The second switch is for the swing lock control. This will allow you to lock out the swing even if the hydraulics are engaged. To activate this function, simply press the switch towards the icon. To reactivate the swing, press the switch to return it to the original position. The third switch is for the lighting controls. Pressing the switch towards the sun icon will turn on the exterior lights. To turn the lights off, return the switch to the neutral position. Pressing the switch towards the moon icon will activate the monitor dimming feature, which is applicable in a nighttime application. The last switch is the throttle control. Upon exiting the machine, be sure to dial the throttle back to the minimum setting and allow the machine to idle for approximately three to five minutes to ensure proper cooldown. We can go ahead and cover the remaining machine controls, including the joysticks and our travel controls. Before we do that, I want to point out that the horn is going to be located on the right-hand joystick, and the power max feature will be on the left-hand joystick. Also, one last reminder is to always ensure that the lock lever is flipped into the up position to make sure that the hydraulics are engaged. Boom up. Boom down. Bucket curl. Bucket dump, arm out, arm in, swing right, swing left, tram forward, tram backwards. Right track forward, right track backwards, left track forward, left track backwards. Okay, so that wraps it up. Remember, if you have any questions or need clarification on anything that was covered today, to just check the operation and maintenance manual inside the cab. We here at Komatsu pride ourselves on the quality and performance of our products, making sure that you get the most out of your investment. Thanks for watching.